water. It's been around for billions of years. Water moves in a continuous cycle from the Earth's surface to the air and clouds and back to Earth again as rain or snow. The water we use today is the same water that was on the Earth four billion years ago. We won't ever have more water than what is currently on the Earth and in the atmosphere. Water is a finite resource and we all must work together to take care of it. We depend on water to sustain us, keep us healthy, provide recreation, protect public health and the environment, and help our economy. All living things need water. But after we use the water we need, what happens then? That's where Fairfax County's wastewater management comes in. Wastewater management is part of Fairfax County's Department of Public Works and Environmental Services, and it operates one of the largest sanitary sewer systems in the nation. Wastewater treatment removes most of the pollutants from the water we use, and the clean water is returned to Gunston Cove. From there, it flows into the Potomac River on the way to its final destination, the Chesapeake Bay. Norman Cole treats 40 million gallons per day of raw sewers from the homes and businesses located in the southern part of Fairfax County. The raw sewers that Norman Cole treats every day is enough to fill over 60 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Norman Cole operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. Before we go further, let's clarify the difference between wastewater and stormwater. They aren't the same thing. Stormwater is precipitation from rain or snow. Stormwater that doesn't soak into the ground becomes runoff. This flows into surface waterways or is channeled into storm sewers. That's why the use of pesticides and dangerous chemicals is discouraged. This untreated water drains into our storm sewers, compromising the health of our streams and rivers. Wastewater, on the other hand, is treated. More than 85% of households and almost all businesses within Fairfax County are connected to the county sewer system. County businesses are regulated to prevent toxic or harmful substances from entering our waterways. Wastewater pretreatment staff monitor these businesses to ensure regulatory compliance in order to protect the health and safety of employees and ensure a cleaner environment. The resulting wastewater travels through a network of pipes stretched end to end. They would cover the entire width of the United States, a total of more than 3,000 miles. Depending on where you live in the county, your wastewater goes to either the Noman M. Coal Pollution Control Plant, noted as the green area on this map, or it travels to treatment plants in the surrounding region. Here's what happens at the Noman M. Coal Plant. Raw sewage enters the plant from underground pipes from homes and businesses and passes through mechanically clean screens that are enclosed to control odor. These screens remove large objects, such as paper, sticks, and rags, that are collected in a container and hauled by truck to the landfill. The screened wastewater is pumped to large tanks where solid matter either settles, known as biosolids, or floats, otherwise known as scum. The solid matter is separated and removed for further processing and disposal. The remaining liquid flows to aeration tanks where air is bubbled through the wastewater to supply oxygen to microorganisms living in the tanks. These microorganisms use the organic matter and nutrients in the wastewater as food. The wastewater flows to clarifiers where the microorganisms settle as sludge. Most of the biosolids are returned to the aeration tanks to continue the biological process. Any excess biosolids go through a process where the water content in it is further reduced and the remaining material gets incinerated. This final product, inert ash, is hauled by truck to an ash fill at the I-95 sanitary landfill. The wastewater is pumped to a second biological treatment system that is filled with little plastic media called moving bed biofilm reactors, or MBBR. In this process, nitrogen levels are reduced by microorganisms that grow on the media. These microorganisms use supplemental carbon as their food source. Noman Coal has the first large-scale MBBR system in the United States. The treated water then flows through the tertiary clarifiers and filters to remove phosphorus and suspended solids. This is a critical step in reducing nutrients and maintaining water quality. Finally, the filtered water is disinfected with either sodium hypochlorite or ultraviolet light, which results in high-quality affluent water that has over 99% of the pollutants removed. 
Because high standards of water treatment are met, the treated water is approved for use as reclaimed water. At Nome & Coal, reclaimed water is distributed to an industrial user, a local golf course, or a ball field. This helps conserve drinking water and reduces the amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus that enter our waterways. The remainder of the fully treated water that meets and often exceeds regulatory requirements is disinfected to prevent adverse effects to aquatic life in the receiving stream as it flows back into Fairfax County's waterways. The staff at Noman Cole's Wastewater Laboratory monitors this discharge for compliance. They also voluntarily monitor the health of the ecosystem in Gunston Cove, where it can become water that is processed at drinking water plants and becomes available for drinking, cleaning, and recreation. And the cycle begins again. Fairfax County invests about $50 million a year to run a proactive maintenance program for all of its sewer lines and pump stations, and staff anticipates and plans for future requirements needed to protect the Chesapeake Bay. About 300 people are employed to ensure the water treatment infrastructure is kept to current standards, and this effort contributes to this region's high quality of life. We sample Gunston Cove about five times a year, and that is so we want to know the effects of our treated effluent on Pohick Creek and Pohick Bay, Gunston Cove, and eventually, you know, the Potomac River. So over 30 years ago, uh, the uh, Wastewater Management Program started a partnership with the University, George Mason University. And we have been studying the cove for over 30 years, watching a progression of uh, beneficial uh, improvements to the, act, the cove, including an increase in the, the uh, submerged vegetation, which is critical habitat for maintaining fish and other species and, and the biology of, of the cove that sustains the fish. That's largely due to the fact that we've improved our treatment processes. We've enhanced our treatment capability at the plant to make sure that that water that's being discharged into the system is clean enough to sustain life. The state of the water here today is very good. The, and the reason why we know that without, we're also taking samples that we will measure constituencies uh, in the lab. But we can tell just by looking at the water because it's very clear uh, you can see the bottom about a meter down. It's also uh, important that the county know how well they're doing in cleaning up because cleanups cost a lot of money. And if you need some measure of the progress you're making, and our study has provided a very uh, clear evidence of the, the very uh, clear progress that the county has made over the years. We, we find that the citizenry of Fairfax County is very environmentally conscious and there is even within the county a board called EQAC that is responsible for collecting citizen input and they have been very instrumental in promoting this study. We're looking forward to actually continuing our work in this area. Uh, we want to make sure that you know, the, the efforts that we put forth continue to improve the water quality here to make this a good resource for residents to access. And so the future is looking good based on the results that we've gotten for the study, and we think it can continue to even improve more than what we've done. And it's really uh, up to the efforts both of the employees of Fairfax County that have worked on this project, but also the residents who have supported these efforts. In addition, wastewater management practices environmental stewardship through education by sharing its expertise with the younger generation, students in local schools. This initiative teaches students in a hands-on environment about municipal wastewater treatment processes. I teach AP Environmental Science at Lake Braddock Secondary School, and this program is sewer science that helps kids learn about wastewater treatment. We've been using the sewer science program here at Lake Braddock for about 10 years now and it is offered to all levels, grades nine through 12. Um, I focus mainly on the juniors and seniors with my AP Environmental Science class. It closely matches what we talk about in that curriculum. 
The kids are able to see every step of the wastewater treatment system and they're able to model each step on their own using hands-on equipment and experiments. They get to see the water settling out in the first step so they can see primary treatment. They're able to use microscopes to see the microorganisms that work on secondary treatment and then they're able to do all the tests along the way to make sure that the water is getting cleaner and they can see the whole entire process from beginning to end. The wastewater treatment process is an important part of AP environmental science. It's a big topic within our curriculum. And not every class can make it to the wastewater treatment plant. So the, what I like about this program is it brings the wastewater treatment plant to the classroom. You can do your part to ensure that the water you discard doesn't compromise our waterways. Don't dump harmful materials such as grease, pesticides, paints, baby wipes, or medicines down the drain. These can clog sewer lines interfere with the treatment process, and harm our waterways. Instead, use special programs that allow you to dispose of items like these in a safe manner. Fairfax County continues its commitment to environmental stewardship. Wastewater management works every day to ensure a healthy environment and clean waterways for those who live and work in Fairfax County. Because quality of water equals quality of life. For more information on Fairfax County's Wastewater Management Program, call 703-550-9740. The TTY number is 711, or you can log on to Fairfax County's website.